All right, so first and foremost, we're going to do a CAS glue bridge, okay, that we're probably going to see in, honestly, most plans that we're doing that are going to be centered around glute growth. Again, this is an opportunity for us to train the glute in the shortened position here, so really get a lot of feel out of the glute relative to some of the exercise that we've done before here that we're training out of that lengthened position. So this one, you might see it more at the beginning of your programming, right, to again, help kind of build that, you know, feeling that we're looking for in the glute and kind of get them activated, if you would. For a lot of people, they might might use a pad like this to be able to make it more comfortable for where that bar is going to sit right around the hips. For Marina, it's not, you know, very comfortable. For some reason, she can... Um, no, it's just too stretched out. It's so too it stretched off. out. So we're going to use a pad like this, which you might be able to find something like that at your gym. Everybody's got different availability as far as your gym is concerned. I would actually prefer something that's a little bit thicker. So as you go up in weight, you don't necessarily have to worry about manipulating it. Sometimes you might be going too heavy for one of these pads, but again, whatever floats your boat there. Let's go ahead and get set up with this. Sometimes you're going to have the opportunity to do this with a Smith machine, which we'll probably do another video on it later, or in different types of machines that you might have at your gym that are specific to hip thrust. We don't have that here. We're going straight barbell. And in a lot of cases, we are going to recommend either a machine or a barbell setup, depending on what's going on within your programming. So just pay attention to that. But again, today we're going through the barbell. Go ahead and get yourself set up here, Marina. You want to make sure this back isn't too high, right? Some people only have access to a bench. And if they do, that's fine. But we want to make sure this is set up pretty well here where it's not too high it's not too low usually somewhere right around knee height for the individual right and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we get ourselves set up well where right from the very beginning your knees are directly on top of your ankles here okay we're trying to keep that vertical shin the entire time and that's going to be key because where most people go wrong let's show them the wrong rep first they're coming all the way down and these are now moving we're not maintaining that vertical shin anymore because we broke too far at the hip here okay again we're going to save that for the hip thrust which is another exercise that we'll demo later so here we're coming down just far enough to get the glute length in boom right there and then we're coming back up and that's it it's a really really short range of motion the glute is a really really short muscle tissue as far as our really short muscle as far as where it's going how it's going to work so all we want to do is make sure that we get into this position where we're getting that muscle fully lengthened and then really focusing on the shortening of that muscle squeezing at the top all right so we're coming down and then from there all i want you to think about is squeezing those cheeks together Together to drive those hips into extension but essentially we're just looking for a little bit of hip flexion there and then driving through those hips creating hip extension to shorten that uh, to shorten the uh, glute muscle the only other thing that I'd want to consider here is making sure that that sternum right is working in concert with the hip so as the hip breaks this is especially important when we get to the hip thrust later on right that sternum is going to come up just a little bit right the sternum isn't stuck there because usually what will happen there is we're seeing the pelvis rotate and the spine rotate from the bottom like that. Right? Yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that's all working together, right? So this is all working as one. And that is the CAS Glue Bridge.